Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. Backwards in reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your bonus message for the week. Thank you for your support. If you are new here, welcome. Thanks for checking me out. Let's see. What does the spirit have for the Cancer Collective at this time? The table resonates only from the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective Cancer reading. Anything you need to know about me will be down below. Let's see. What does spirit want you to know? Cancer, any placement, multiple scenarios for Cancer. What's the tea? GPS location being tracked. Stalker, stalker, stalker. Cover up. Trying to prevent the truth from coming out. Random personal situation. What else? We will clarify. Falling up with GPS. Lit passion burning for you. Somebody is on your ass or you're on someone's ass. Hopefully just a figure of speech. But for... <laughs> With this stalker energy here, someone's obsessed with this passion and GPS location being tracked. Someone's watching you or you're doing some watching. With this passion, this is fire. This could be Ace of Wands. This could be energy. This could be sacral. This could be um, your fun, your free spirit, your, birth, your breath of fresh air. Birth it could be your father, your child, or a mother of your child. Or um, passion and GPS. Someone could be obsessed with you. She, or you, this obsession. Yeah, you're the obsession in this connection. What else for cancer? Moving in, leaving permanent items in your home, tracking, being watched. Someone could have placed some kind of tracking device in your home. They could be projecting into your home. They could have given you an object with something on it. What in the fuck? They're watching your home, leaving permanent items in your home, moving in, fell over GPS and tracking. Okay, what else for cancer? They could be driving past your house, bragging. They're watching you on social media as well, telling other people about you. They got your name in their mouth, or this is you. What else for cancer? Okie dokie. Misinformation. Wrong info given to them. It's giving gossip, slander, of course, all of that. They're talking shit with bragging and misinformation. They're lying on you. They're portraying to be someone that they're not. Okay. Painting fa facades and false images, glamours and all kind of things. But let's clarify. Okay. Cancer. Conflict with the five of wands, competition, they're competing with you. They want to keep you stuck with the eight of swords. This is also a mental thing. Someone is conflicted within what to do, okay? Something could have been done to a child. You could have a child with this person or they need to heal their inner child. They're very naive and gullible or they think that you are. A GPS for cancer. <clears throat> you could have been with this person since you were young. Page of Cups. They're playing on your emotions, your compassion for them. GPS or your compassion in general. King of Swords. This is an astral traveler. King of Swords. Swords are mind, mental, in the element of air. Clarifying GPS location being tracked. This is an astro traveler. Or they're a hacker. The King of Swords is also communications and electronics. This is a hacker. This is a stalker. This is a watcher. They're very cold. They're very observant. Okay, this could be someone you share a child with, with the illustration. Or, or... This the person could be going through your phone and stuff too, or they put a bug on your car. Higher they go, or you did this. Um, for some of you, 
And this is what's happening to someone you're dealing with. The person that, for some of you men, let me go straight to it. You're dealing with a chick or a broad or a, for the same sex persons, you know, people. Your person is dealing with somebody that won't let up. Somebody won't let up. Could be dealing with another cancer with that car vrooming on by like that. Aries got that vroom too. Uh, okay. What's this person's issue? You walked away. <laughs> Made a cups. <laughs> for real. I got can we talk for a minute on my TV. Y'all think I'm playing. Let me see if I get a strike. That's crazy. Okay. This person just want a little bit of your time, boo boo. They are feeling defeated or they want to keep you defeated. Someone here doesn't want you to get away. Oh, this is you. Okay. Cover up for cancer. Some of y'all got a Pisces involvement too, or they got a Pisces playment. Cover up nine of wands. They are wounded. They don't want you to know that. They don't want you to see the wounds that have been inflicted on them within internally. Sagittarius energy. They don't want anyone to know that they have been abusing you. Someone here has been uh, been abused inside of this home. The tape is on the, on the door. The key is on the inside. The answer is on the inside. You're dealing with someone that has been abused. Someone is living in a home where they are being abused. That's the cover up. And they're being controlled and stalked and watched. If you have the freedom to watch a tarot reading, please seek help. I don't know how bad it is, but I'm seeing it. Cover up trying to prevent the truth from coming out. For some of you, someone you're dealing with has a lot of... Let me zoom in. You see this hair wrap on this, on this man's head? Has a lot of mental illnesses. They're wearing a bandage on their head. Whether you see it or not, they are mentally insane or mentally ill. They're hiding that. Or they hid this from you. Male or female. Masculine or feminine. You're dealing with someone that's trying to prevent the truth from coming out. That they're not well. And they into magic. And they pay people to do it. Three of Cups and the Magician. Or they're trying to manipulate you into being involved in a polygamous connection. Or three is a cry. Or they want to reconcile with you and they're doing magic to do it. However they go. What else is the magician in the three of cups? They want to renew or they manipulate their friends about you. Okay, let's see. Or the people around them in their inner circle. They could be their family. Bragging, telling people about you. It's right there. What they're telling people about you with the magician at the bottom of the day. I can read it upright down sideways whatever they're manipulating people in their circle or your circle random they ain't cahoots for somebody four wands for some of you this person up and got married on you or randomly they want to move in leaving permanent items in your home at random can i come over can i stay or they randomly pop up to your house. Ooh, yep. Spirits say, yep. They randomly pop up to your house. For some of you, Astro Travel. For some of you, they just show up knocking on your door. What you doing? What you got going on? For some of you, your person could have randomly gotten involved with another and gotten into a commitment on you while you still with them. For some of you, it's a conflict. And it's competition and it's chaos. And you need to move away from it or move on or move out. Move away. As you move forward, they send this chaos and conflict to your life. Higher they go. Four to the five of wands. This, com this commitment, this marriage brought a great deal of conflict for you or someone else. This marriage was conflicted when it started. This relationship was conflicted when it started. Higher they go. Some of y'all dealing with a karmic relationship. I'm trying to just read the energy. 
What else could a random four of wands be? Some of you met your twin flame at a random. Someone's upset. Five of wands. What else? Some of you got married too soon. Some of you got committed to this person. You gave them a commitment too soon. Somebody from their family came to move in with y'all. You taking care of somebody in, in their family too? Could be an elder. Okay. Aries energy. What's this lit passion burning for you? Aries Leo Sag energy with this match. Fire. Lit. Sun. Leo. For some of you. Star. They These opposite signs. Some of y'all dealing with a, a twin or a karmic nemesis. Some of you are chosen. Some of you they want your energy. <laughs> some of you they want your energy. You are very inspirational. You are a healer. Sun and the star is a very powerful healing energy. They want your energy. Passion burning for you. They want your energy. They want your peace. They want your, I'm hearing sanctuary. Full of wands with leaving permanent items in your home. They want what you have. You help to replenish them. Passion burning for you. Every time you have sex with them. You uplift them. You're inspiring them. You've helped them to heal. You've awakened them for some of you. It ain't that deep okay yeah some of you you have inspired someone to want to love again or they have done this to you to have hope again to be optimistic about about life yep i'm seeing that okay what's underneath the star judgment you have awakened someone or they're going to get judgment for being attached or trying to attach themselves to keep coming into your energy three major arcana is a big deal and these are hard hitters some of y'all are chosen. You have a life purpose. Judgment to the star, to the sun. You are fucking chosen to do something great or this person is. And that's why judgment will come upon whoever this is with the strength. Right behind the judgment. And the hermit. This person is a wise counselor and an emperor. And they are very spiritually high ranking in the public praise with the six of wands. Damn, this is a very powerful energy at the bottom of my deck. That's, that's the hidden factor position, bottom of the deck. The hidden factor is whoever... Whoever this is you're dealing with, you have either, again, inspired them to be their best self. You've awakened them to become wiser. You've given them the strength, the, the, the confidence, and the optimism they need to push forward in life, in summary. Or this is the person that someone keeps fucking with energetically. They want this person's energy. Okay. Let's see. What's moving in for cancer? Wheel of Fortune, we got Can You Stand the Rain Tower. Wheel of Fortune in the Tower. I don't know what's going on here, but I got too many majors. So what that's telling me is this is a big deal. Something big is going on in this connection or this reading. Hmm. Okay, that's complete destruction. Fate, fortune, divine intervention divine intervention on permanent items in someone's home some of you are moving on moving out or this person's going to finally break free from whoever this is they're going to run out in the middle of the night from whoever this is abusing them i hope i'm not telling on somebody that's going to escape you cancer shit well guess you better see what one i open because they leaving at night yep yes they is from this abuser they're leaving at night they're going to escape so sleep with one eye open Someone keeps coming into your energy at night when you're sleeping. What else? I'm about to read these motherfucking cards. What's this? <laughs> Moving in. Two of cups and a ten of wands. Uh-uh. 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 <laughs> Somebody won't come stay with you. They need your help. It's a burden. Or you moved in when it's at the, <laughs> you moved in with this person when you was down on your luck. Or they trying to move in with you for you to uplift them, help them to heal, to become a better person, to get on their feet. They burden ten of wands. They need your support. They want to come together. Two of cups, cancer energy. Some of y'all this you. All of a sudden, abruptly, random. Ooh, I see it. <laughs> randomly somebody need a place to stay two of cups ten of wands leaving permanent items at your home look at this this is it for some of you this is a fact 
at random, someone's going to want to come stay with you. Or this is how you met this person. You were trying to help them get on their feet. Or they was trying to help you get on your feet. This was the start of destruction. Tower and the will of fortune. Your life changed forever. And if I'm picking up on future for somebody, which I do do that. I pick up about a month or two ahead. Someone's going to come in your life. Oh, I need you. I, 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 I. <laughs> Tower and the motherfucking will of fortune. Is a change in your life forever. Don't do it. The will of fortune is both fate and destiny. I've been preaching fate and destiny. Fate is what will happen. No matter what. This is fated to happen. I was fated to meet that person. Destiny will be the choice I make. When that fork in the road come. This way or that way. Which way you going? The wrong way. Four of cups. <laughs> and the illusion and a conflict and i thought it was a balanced connection but it was conflict okay let me stop playing this is serious it came out twice so i wouldn't miss it spirit made sure that i wouldn't miss that somebody wants to stay with you needs a place to stay or some of you are living with somebody just for some kind of support it's codependent get away it's changing your whole course of life Watch out now when somebody come to you with a sob story. What's this bragging? What they say? Oh my god. 9-11. Okay, bragging. World. You're on the world stage. Someone's watching you. If it, somebody in the public eye, even if you're not a popular person like you're doing something in society you may get a lot of likes somebody may see this shit. you may get a lot of reactions to your post whatever it is someone sees what you're doing and they're talking shit look look at the illustration look y'all look what he doing look look y'all look what she doing look look at this y'all yep on the world stage somebody watching you observing you now for some of you telling other people about you you're being monitored by whoever this abusive person is for some of you or your person's living with someone that unfortunately monitors everything that they do can you stand the rain hell no shit not this this is storming lightning <laughs> hell no Fuck that. Mm -mm. One more spirit. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Some of you are blessed, abundant, highly favored, working real hard on yourself towards your goals, towards becoming a better person. Someone out here speaks highly of you. They're inspired by you. Some of you, you're doing just that, but somebody hate you. Tell me I'm lying. Misinformation. What's misinformation? Some of you, you have a lot of plans in life. You're very abundant. You have a lot of great ideas you're trying to manifest. Someone is not supportive. For some of you, they tell other people what you got planned instead of supporting you. For some of you, this is what's happening to your person. It's very draining trying to read for some of you, for some of, for some of you. But I'm going to take it there because I don't want to get stuck on one situation. I went there. Some of you have a lot of things you're accomplishing, you're doing in life, you're on the up and up. Someone from your past, bitter, mad, stalker, watcher, whether online or rather astro travel, hating. If they ain't no ex, they are old fling, they want you back. They want the D, they want the P. Misinformation. Or they want your energy. They don't give a fuck about your genitals. Somebody lying, trying to get people to reject you, trying to get people to turn away from you, be disinterested in you, not care for you. Or if someone rejected you, it was because someone lied on you. Someone said something to cause a person to deter away from you with that bragging. To, I, this is a whole Maury show <laughs> or some kind of soap opera. Whatever they say, telling other people about you cause was misinformation cause them to reject you not like you not want you or turn them away from you or someone projected a whole image over you to cause people to turn away from you cancer or you did this i'm gonna clarify ulterior motives hiding something let me tell you how i know somebody hiding some because they try and prevent the truth from coming out it's right there someone is a snake slithering <laughs> and their friends is too Okay, or they family too. They in a circle. They whole in a circle toxic. What's ulterior motives? Ulterior motives to do what? Here they come charging in. 
let's be friends let's go out i got something to tell you i want to tell you the truth um sending you energy too sending you gifts it, this knight of swords is energetic this is someone coming at you sideways for some of you watch out this is a setup to get stabbed too uh, invite out ulterior motives that's a blade and to clarify this card watch who invites you out male or female they cannot be trusted for my men do not go randomly hanging out with somebody that suddenly want to support you that flaked on you bitches either that flaked on you and they didn't they didn't support you when you was down on your luck ten of wands whatever i'm picking up on some hood shit too for those of you that's dealing with somebody that act like they got your back or they speak for you or they order your food or they control it in that way however it go you need to separate from this person if you're not being abused like someone else is it seems like they kind of stuck so you ain't stuck you just need to reach out send somebody an email or something listen <laughs> Somebody holding on to you because you're going to be popular, going to be successful, or you're just successful without them, or you will be. Please break free because some of y'all are in an abusive relationship, rather physically, mentally, or emotionally. Some of y'all are being spiritually abused, me, and I'm a hand of that. Fight back. Anyways, some of y'all are in a position of abusing. Why are you mad? Why are you hurt? Why are you not healed? Why can't you let this person move on, move forward, and move away from you? Some of y'all got friends that just don't want to see you on the up and up because they still carrying many, many burdens, many, many wines. Don't matter. Continue to push forward because some of you are chosen and very inspirational. You're healers. And then when you heal, you continue to heal humanity. And when you also continue to heal, no one can keep you down, get in your way, get in your head, manipulate you, gaslight you, or control you in any type of way. Male or female, women can be narcissistic too, however it go. Someone's watching you, monitoring you, stalking you. Block the bitch if it's on social media. If it's spiritual, learn how to protect yourself. Just period. This y'all read. Keep moving forward. Peace.